Hello, uh, my name is Rachel Moorfield and I am a mental health advocate. I became one after losing my son Isaiah to depression by suicide. He was 19 years old and we lost him in July of 2018. So it has been almost five years since we lost him and as much as I like to be a positive light for those who have lost someone to suicide or struggling, um, I'm going to admit that I haven't been doing very well at all. My depression has gotten um, really, really bad and I have found myself in a very dark place with little light to give to anybody else. And I felt kind of ashamed about this um, because I'm supposed to be a mental health advocate and I haven't been able to do that. I have withdrawn myself from everybody and everything, whether it be friends, family, social media, and just kind of secluded myself and withdrew from life. And um, I want to make this video today to go back to the foundation and the base of why I started making these videos. And that is, it is okay to not be okay we just have to be able to talk about it and we break that stigma that we can't talk about mental health that what we have to say doesn't matter and that's kind of like where i'm going with this is that my depression has made me feel and i know that i'm not alone in this has made me feel as though i'm a burden to those around me and including you um, the last thing that i want to do is bring others down with my pain and I know that these aren't great thoughts to have. And if someone else was telling me this in my heart, I would want them to not feel that way. But we can't prevent these irrational thoughts from coming in and feeling that we are bringing others down or being a burden to them. That's kind of like a layer of depression that we don't always talk about. And so with these feelings of being a burden, um, it has made me tell myself just awful things. It tells me that people don't want to be around me. It tells me that I'm emotionally taxing. It tells me that people avoid me. Um, it tells me that people have to prepare themselves. Like I feel like people have to prepare themselves to be around me, that they have to be in the right state of mind to pick up that phone or message me or watch one of my videos. Like, oh, I can't deal with her right now. She's a little too depressing for me or she can bring me down. And that makes me feel like super bad about myself. And then it makes me just pull back even more. And with everything that's been kind of going on in our lives, like I thought, I thought things would start getting a little bit better and things have just been getting worse and worse. And when you don't have anything positive to say or anything to good to bring to the table, um, you just start feeling like, why bother? Like nobody wants to hear my, my negativity. Nobody, like, what am I going to say? Like, I'm just gonna be a sorry sap. Like, I don't wanna do that to myself or to others. And you feel ashamed. And then it comes back to that whole feeling like a burden. And so I wanted to just kind of be honest and actually be the mental health advocate that I wanted to be for Isaiah. Um, he felt these same feelings of being a burden and um, letting other people down with his pain. He wanted everyone around him to be happy all the time. He was kind of a class clown, super witty, always trying to make people smile. And he would say to me that he didn't want to make others sad or that he didn't want to disappoint us or burden us or worry about him too much. And it really hurts to know all of these struggles that he went through and how he was feeling, to feel them myself, ashamed that I didn't see it sooner, knowing what Isaiah went through, feeling ashamed that I wasn't able to help him, feeling guilty, knowing how heavy this is and not, not being able to lift that, that for him. And then the depression like circles. And so I want others to know that breaking the stigma of mental health, a big part of that is 
sharing our stories, letting others know that they're not alone. If you can't share your story, sharing somebody else's out there, um, mine, whoever's that you, you like, and saying like, hey, you know, I feel this way too, or this person's speaking the way I feel, or I like what they have to say. Every time you do that, you're supporting mental health, even though you might not be capable of sharing your own story or personal experience. I want everyone to know that you deserve to tell your story. You deserve to find like your tribe and the people that are gonna be there to listen and not make you feel like you're too heavy for them. They're gonna want to be your light in the dark and they're gonna want you to be their light when they're in the dark. And I know that it sounds like super cheesy and super corny, but like all I have is hope at this point. Um, so I guess um, sharing is power. And if I'm able to help somebody today by letting them know that they're not alone in these feelings of being a burden and that there's someone else out there like me who I've said over and over is crying in their bathroom pretty consistently, you're not alone in that bathroom either. There's somebody out there like me, like you, who's crying, who's feeling like a burden, who's feeling like they're too much for other people. And we have to remind ourselves that we're not. We're lying to ourselves. If we are, those aren't our kind of people and that we have to find the ones that are gonna be there for us. All right, I don't know. I, we can do this, right? All right, um, I'm gonna try to make some more of these videos. I really want to share Isaiah's light again. Um, if you like to subscribe, um, that means like a lot to me, not to sound like every other person who wants you to subscribe, but it is what it is. Um, I'm also going to have some links on the bottom here. Like we're kind of struggling and um, I have like my our we created a business in Isaiah's memory. Um, so that info is on there too. Um, and yeah, so peace and love, light.